Okay, so it's not even a month that nothing phone 2A have been released. Within a month, this phone has already received three to four OTA updates. Few of them related to camera and the performance improvement. Today, there's another hot fix which have been released by Nothing for Nothing Phone 2A, which claims to improve the camera even more. So in this video, let's find out is Nothing actually improving the camera or they are making it worse. So now, without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my Nothing Phone 2A, which I've already updated to the latest build, which was released yesterday night, which is Nothing over. 2.5.4.a and as far as I remember the previous build was also .a I'm not sure about it it still has the security patch of 1st Feb 2024 update size wasn't that huge as it's a hotfix update you can see the update size which is around 25.97 MB and if you see the change logs which are layered to camera general improvements and some bug fixes we do have the photos which were taken before updating the device to compare the photo clarities we clicked photos in multiple modes before and after update also we made sure there is not much of difference in the time which could affect the lighting conditions in total we hardly had a difference of 20 minutes in clicking photos before and after update and guys now before moving ahead we have 87 percent of users who haven't subscribed to our channel but they do watch our videos so if you guys find our videos helpful to you do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video now let's talk about the camera changes first if you see the change logs they have mentioned enhanced overall camera performance improved portrait mode enhanced camera saturation and tone so first we click photos in one x mode the left side photos are before update and the right side photos are after update if you see the rose flower the colors processing favors more vibrant but less accurate colors after this update it looks camera update tries to boost the saturation and contrast to make image pops and the same thing can be seen with the human skin tone the skin color looks whitish if you compare them with the pictures which we clicked before updating i personally prefer the natural tone and if you also see the t-shirt color here also i can see a noticeable difference though no major change was noticed in the dynamic range it looks same before and after the update with 2x details and colors i don't see much of difference in most of the photos they look same but again problem with the skin tone even in 2x mode the phone tries to brighten the skin giving that whitish look dynamic range is good enough even in 2x in ultra wide photos there is no difference at all the photos look same with good color reproduction dynamic range and hdr control was on spot and even the skin tones were same before and after the update when we take a look at the photos here i would say nothing phone to a portrait are improved after this update in the past update also they did improve but here i can see a lot of improvements after this update you consider selfie portrait or main camera portrait nothing did work on the edge detection which is improved a lot and also the skin tones looks better after this update which do provides a natural skin color even in selfie portrait when we talk about selfies here nothing major changed both i mean before and after the update they look similar it seems clear that while the update has bought about certain enhancement particularly to portrait mode edge detection and the skin tone rendering it has also introduced an issue with the oversaturation and altered skin tone in other modes but what do you guys have to say about the picture quality before and after the update let us know in the comment section below after that they have optimized the compatibility with certain charges adapter so i personally have nothing charger and i use that i've never used any other charger so can't say much about that and later enhance the stability and compatibility of bluetooth connections i personally never had any kind of issues layer to that also under the bug fixes they have resolved an issue where hey google could not be used in some certain scenarios for me it has been working on previous build also and i've tested on this build there are no issues with that later on they have fixed an issue wherein device wasn't able to unlock using fingerprint and removed occasional sound of static noise in the receiver say in our testing we haven't faced any kind of such issues which they have mentioned in the bugs but there might be some users who have faced and according to the feedback nothing have taken care of that but it's good to see that nothing have been continuously fixing or improving the performance of their device which was recently released as said they have already released three to four updates for this particular unit and after this update i also noticed that processing speed after clicking the pictures has improved little bit compared to the previous builds we'll wait for few more days and if any update rolls out for this device then it would be a good time to release an in-depth review video so meanwhile if you guys have any kind of questions you can let me know in the comment section below this was a quick look on the latest update for nothing phone 2a if you guys have any kind of questions drop them in the comment section below this is your friend ashok signing out see you guys in the next video